the gun a little bit, forgot to vlog this, but uh, we're working on a structure here. You can guess what it is, but we'll make you wait a little bit longer. Platform may or may not be used as like a seven to 10 foot drop off of a hill. We'll see, who knows, you know, time will tell. He's like, that's not gonna hold up. And it's like literally strong enough to hold a full truck. <laughs> and you're just, you're riding a little dirt bike over it. I guarantee someone's gonna say, oh, you need a, you need bracing every, every foot, not every two feet. Every 18 inches. This isn't a house. No one's gonna cool. live in this. One more brace, yeah. Or two more. Yeah. Is that three feet? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna put two more in there. Perfect. Ding. Oh, dude, I unplugged it. Can you plug it in? Oh, it's soft. Dude. Get that B-roll of plugging it in. Okay. Good. Oh. Go, good. Oh, oh. Let go. Bam. We were not in the right spot there. Too much, a little, okay, I keep overdoing it. Give a little slap tickle. You gotta grab it and say that's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Boom! For a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's the two by fours because they curve. It's not the. Yeah. We gotta twist it, son. Hold on. I'll... Okay, step on it there. Out toward. Uh... Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, that man. was perfect. That'll do. Dom, dom, dom. Why do I always walk backwards? I don't know. Close up to these triceps. Oh yeah, do you got a permit for those guns? Can you lift that oh, sleeve up a little bit? It's kind of, <laughs> it's blocking the sun from, <laughs> from giving me the proper shadows. Oh man. Okay, you can set it down. Right now we're digging a three foot hole. I picked up those 10 foot four by fours. Got my buddy Jeff here who I haven't seen in 13 years, 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's out here helping me right now. All right, so uh, digging three foot deep holes by hand suck, but we're making some real good progress here. Probably another, probably another foot to go. <laughs> but uh, it's looking good. Those posts are gonna be real sturdy. <laughs> yeah. Just jagged screw sticking out. You want to throw the board in there? Hopefully it's leveled out. Looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Man, we probably should have put a bigger board, honestly, but probably should. It's easy enough. Okay. <laughs> Piece of crap board we decided is a little too flimsy and stuff, so we just took this. Don't twist it, you might break it. What if we made it 10 feet tall? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> if I got 12 foot posts, dude, that would be totally reasonable, but stupid. Maybe, maybe uh, next time. All right, making good progress. We've been packing for two hours now, but finally it's getting uh, pretty sturdy. Now I'm gonna start laying out this beam, which is gonna tie into there, act as a uh, horizontal stabilizer for that, even though Really, the beams should be fine. Three feet deep, they're feeling pretty rigid. The ground is sopping wet right now. Once that dries up, that clay will harden, uh, no problem. All right, so surprisingly, first try, no checks or anything. I got my, uh, got my rut definitely close enough to call it good. So, got me a hole drilled. Beautiful. So I guess I'm really dumb and uh, <laughs> I picked up eight inch bolts because I was only thinking of two by fours being screwed into this. That was before I planned on two four by fours together. So we'll have to run to the hardware store and get some uh, nine or 10 inch ones for that to work. Store and we got 10 inch bolts. Two nuts, two washers. We're uh, definitely close enough to being level.
see this gap start to close up. So, all tightened up and no more gap. So now what I want to do is square up that lower piece to this 16 foot upper piece. So initially, I'd only planned on doing the bigger drop, but I decided some people might want to try out the drop and not be comfortable with that. So I decided to make a medium and a smaller drop. Now, I would have done this whole project a lot differently had I known that from the start. Um, I would have buried all of the vertical 4x4s uh, on their own, squared up at the different heights, and then done all my cross bracing and platforms uh, on those. So a little unconventional here, but it's just how it ended up of the board there now we need to uh, dig out some holes so we can uh, make this thing level with the hill okay, well hopefully I did my aiming properly and it's square enough looks like it's pretty good there got one continuous chunk of sod here did it nice and clean so now we should be able to drop this guy in and try and level it out perfect fit I'm a big fan when things just work out perfectly right away. Literally from kicking it in there, it's already level. So what I'll do is I'll bolt it down and level and then just start packing dirt back in and uh, hopefully it'll stay relatively how it is now. I think. Right, looks good. Bolted in there and very nice and level. Pack some of this dirt in and I uh, think we'll be uh, just about good to start bracing. Make sure to get my sunburn. Here's how to get farmer's tan 101. Don't wear sunscreen. <laughs> Should be plenty deep enough. She's not going nowhere, bud. <laughs> Even though our board is, we got some goofy angled overhangs here, so. Uh, get dusty. Very dusty. Okay, we don't want to cut through the uh, screw there, so. <laughs> Look at that. That is a clean finish there. Get some macro on that. Put some mac on it. Ooh. All right, let's get started. Right. Oh, yeah, we don't need to do that. I couldn't tell the angle. What? You can go in more. You're oh. going. Oh, well, that's what I was saying. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, I was going to say, something didn't seem right, right there. there. I think I'm doing the same thing. No, you're good. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. That looks way better. Yeah, it not does. having those <laughs> ugly, <laughs> ugly things. Think smarter, not, not, not smarter. Oh. I haven't been filming much. Sorry about that. The mosquitoes are horrible. And uh, Devin left. And even when Devin was here, I needed him to help me hold beams up and stuff. But, uh, got, um, these cross beams bolted in for the five foot and the three foot platforms. Got uh, bolts in down there in the ground. So tomorrow or whatever, I'll uh, finish burying those and tamping all the dirt in.
Okay, I'll be the first to admit, I really suck at making these home trail build videos. It's just extremely hard to film and actually get work done when most of the time it's just me doing it. But anyway, I finished up the platform, at least enough for it to be uh, usable for now. Uh, I may do some stuff later, but I've already put a lot of money into it and I don't think it really needs any more for it to be functional or safe, so. So here are the clips that you probably came to this video for, me going off of it and actually me trying to go up it, which I am able to do, but not consistently as you see here. Uh, other parts of the track that I didn't really film the process of building because it's really just putting flags in the ground and then riding is the grass track that takes place right in the uh, drop zone of the platform. So got a little bit of drone footage here. The next video I post, uh, or maybe the second next video I post, will just be uh, some practice riding this uh, rut slash turn slash grass track on the hillside here. It's a super fun track. Goal is to get a one minute time, and that's proving very hard to do. And lastly, to get you all caught up, I uh, mowed with a brush hog this long GP slash grass track through the uh, field in the back. And this is what it looks like currently, but this is what it looked like right when I mowed it. And I'll just let you enjoy this until the end of the video. Thanks for watching.